What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. And I'm joking because this storyline is so stupid, bro. <laughs> this storyline with Brooke Taylor. Brooke Taylor and Ridge is so stupid, bro. So they had the Logan woman at the house, and they still got Donna and Katie cheerleading for Brooke. Which is the most stupidest thing ever. I mean, it's good that she got support from her sisters, but it's like they always cheerlead her and what's ever going on in her life. Brooke was over there, as usual, talking stuff. Bro, Brooke's character, when Brooke's character first came out on B&B, she was way more likable, first of all. And then the other thing is, because, like, there was times where you actually, like, I was always on Stephanie's side. But Stephanie was a bully to Brooke for so many years. But at the same time, Brooke was tolerable, right? It seemed like once Stephanie died, she became a Karen, like, to the fullest. Her name should not even be Brooke. It should be Karen, bro. Because she is a Karen to the T, bro. Super Karen. And she was so hating on that Forrester the Gathering. She was talking mess about it. Um... And everything and stuff like that. Like, we could have been talking about Donna being happy with Eric, but Brooke just had to capture the attention. I don't even know what's going on in Katie's life. Like, you know, I wanted to hear about what's going on in Katie's life. We haven't heard about that. You know, it was just so goofy. And then Brooke, this is why I call Brooke a Karen, because she's going to take her behind looking for a fight. Just looking for a fight. Going to go into the Forrester office. And that's where she found Taylor at. Sent behind a desk and, and got started on her. I'm like, what? This story. Bro, this storyline a mess, bro. This storyline a mess. I get it, though. I get it, though. Brad Bell know that this is a winning formula for his show. But I don't even know if traditional Brooke Taylor Ridge fans even care about this triangle anymore, bro. Like they used to back in the day. I don't know what they do. I really don't know what they do. It used to be fire, though. Like, like at one point when they had this triangle going on, it used to be fire when it was Hunter Tylo, Ron Moss, Catherine Kelly Lane. Like, it used to be fire. And Stephanie always getting in the middle of it. Like, it used to be fire, but it's not really the same. Like, I like Krista Allen as Taylor, but they should be doing different things with this version of Taylor. Like, she had something going with Deacon, and they just wrote that off. Like... What are they doing? Then, they, then she had something good with, uh, with Sheila. I'm like, well, y'all just wrote this stuff off, man. But go ahead and get this video a like so I can get into the Sheila video that's coming up next. Go ahead and get this video a like. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. But, yeah, man, this storyline is so stupid. And then it's really bought down the Douglas storyline like I was telling y'all the other day. Or, yeah, I think it was the other day when I was talking about Hope. Going to that get forced together and how awkward she was. It was just so stupid. And now I don't know if the Thursday episode came on because they didn't pick up from there. Um because I only saw like the first like three minutes, but I don't know if it was shown in my area like late at night, because they, they don't do that no more, uh, from what I noticed, you know. So I don't know if they ever showed that episode in y'all area, so I didn't do a no review of it. But uh, I wanted to know what happened after that, like if Hope bought anything up. So I was kind of lost with that. But we're going to talk about Sheila next, man. Thank y'all for watching After News Delight.